four players, one table, semi-finals day in Belfast. And the chance to play for the iconic Alex Higgins trophy now within reach. It's Kyron Wilson, the world champion, against Pang Jungju, who's already beaten two world champions over the best of 11 frames. The first to six to go through to the title match and a meeting with Judd Trump Thank you, or Elliot Slesser. Fantastic Pang atmosphere Jungju. inside this wonderful waterfront hall. It's Pang to get us underway. Only the second meeting between them. And a rather nervy start, understandably, from the big underdog, as has been discussed. Tyron Wilson has been so impressive in his first season since landing. The biggest title of all, he's already won another ranking event and he's played brilliantly again this week. <coughs> he's going to take some beating, Joe, but Pang knows he can do it because he's done it before. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he, he beat an inform Neil Robertson. But he's got to get used to this venue all over again. He won't have played on many one table setups and that could play a big part in nerves. Karen Wilson looking to get off to a good start and stamp his authority in this match. Five. Wilson comes in off the back of yet another drubbing of Mark Williams, an extraordinary record he has against the great man. Seven out of seven now. Six of them extremely one-sided, including yesterday, 5-1. He created so many chances for himself 12. with his great long potting, scored heavily. Prior to that, he had to show his mettle in those victories over David Grace, who came back from 3-0 behind to force the decider. And then Anthony McGill. 13. Yeah, look at the zip on the cue ball there. But it didn't do him any good. And you could say that's a little bit of a let-off. Very attacking shot, wasn't it? Rambo. Difficult to see if he is snookered on all the balls. The way Pang finished against Neil Robertson was so impressive. Or three behind. He was behind three times in that match, but just kept coming back at Robertson. He overcame a couple of errors that might have hit him psychologically quite hard, but he seemed to brush it all off. Got in his own bubble out there. Finished with a 1-2-9 total clearance. That is some way to finish a match of that gravity against one of the best in the world. But he's been flirting with that left corner pocket in this first frame. Yeah, he wasn't sure whether he could see the ball. In the end, he hit too much of it. So, another chance for Karen Wilson. Red to the left centre, available. The one next to the black would have been ideal, but doesn't go to the left corner.
One. So another chance for Karen Wilson. Immediately playing for the red next to the black so he can clear the Six. black into both pockets. Seven. Wilson's appearing in his second Northern Ireland Open semi-final. He featured in the very first one back in 2016, 12. start of the Home Nations, where he lost 14. to the eventual champion Mark King. Looking for his third Home Nations final. Fifteen. And if he does win today, he'll be hoping it's third time lucky because in those two finals, he only managed to win three frames against Ronnie O'Sullivan at the English, Sean Murphy at the Welsh. Again, very attacking shot. Well close to the cushion. Could have been better. 22. <clears throat> 23. Uh, good recovery. And he's on the green or brown. <coughs> yeah, not ideal. Green ball. Green. Or brown. Well, it was a good attempt to get down onto these reds. 26. I knew the cue ball was going into the brown and tried to force it through the brown. And he's on a red. It's a tough one. Well played. 27. Very well played. Karen Wilson knows Pang from Ding Zhong Wee's academy. They've both practiced there. And he's aware of the work ethic of his opponent today. But of course, that's something that Wilson shares. He puts absolutely everything into his career. And there's certainly been no sign of letting up since winning the world championship on the contrary 34. he looks to be becoming a better and better player almost with every match hoping for an eighth ranking title this weekend 35. well no reason one now why he shouldn't win this frame he's done all the hard work Another couple of reds needed. 41. And he wants to impose himself 42. on this match. He doesn't want to get embroiled in safety play. Long bounce of safety. Wants to attack the balls, get them open, and try and win the frame in one visit. Stuck two this time round, but. It was unfortunate going into the reds. 49. So this red, and Pang's going to need snookers. 
15. Fifty-four. Fifty-five. A very confident start, this, from Kyra Wilson. He's had to negotiate a couple of awkward pots. Yeah, and he could open with a century, couldn't he? How many times do we see the top players do that? 63. Just checking that red to the right middle. He could give it a little nudge if he's not too comfortable out about the pot. 70. Could play a little cannon to the red here if he wanted to. 71. Well, may have to take the blue. Well, that red must cut to the middle, or is it a double? 77. Right, cut. Held up. Another very good shot at that speed. Oh, Eighty three. Eighty five. He's made eighteen centuries this season, four hundred and seventy one in his career. And just the one this week, surprisingly. Eighty eight. But what a start this is from Kyron Wilson. It hasn't been an entirely straightforward break. He had to retrieve things a couple of times. He was close to the side cushion. It was cued superbly. And Pang, 82. if he didn't know already, knows now what he's up against today if he's to cause another surprise. He's done it already a couple of times this week. But he might have to play even better 97. if he's to do it in Belfast this afternoon. semi-final here at the Waterfront Hall. A brilliant 110 clearance from Kyron Wilson to lead 1-0.
the waterfront hall packed to the rafters for the first semi-final here of the Northern Ireland Back Open and what a start frame. from the reigning Kyron world Wilson champion Kyron Wilson a brilliant 110 clearance to lead Pang Jung Ju by one frame to nil it's the first to six now for the right to play the Judd Trump or Elliot Slesser they face off this evening at seven o'clock local Push that red towards the right corner, but Pang can't see it. It's a good break off. <coughs> Got to get the feel of the table and the surroundings and the atmosphere. And didn't get much chance in doing that in the first frame. He ranks at 27, Pang, but he'll move to a new career high if he does win today. And as Alan mentioned, he's going very nicely as regards the one-year list in 11th place. And that's another mistake. Tried to get into the reds just below the pink. Took a long time over the shot. I thought he was going to play in behind the reds. Two cushions in behind the reds. Didn't look to be any danger playing that One. shot. number two on the one-year list behind Judd Trump. Of course, he won the Gian Grand Prix and won it in style as well. Beat O'Sullivan in the semis and then Trump 10-8 in the final. He's had five maximum breaks in his career, Karen. 17. One more red, one more easy red. <coughs> 24. The wrong side of this red to play onto the black. A chance to open more reds up. 25. And that could be a frame when you shot. Shades of what he did to Williams. <clears throat> 27. Yeah, got to get tighter on his safety play, Pank. And as I said earlier, Karen Wilson. 35. Not wanting to play any kind of safety game and prolonged safety battles. Wants to get into those reds. Get them open and play an attacking game. 36.
Nice shot, that. Giving himself a chance of two reds. 43. Oh, wait a minute. Karen Wilson. A simple red missed. Probably thinking about his positional play on the black and the next red after that. But this is a mistake, and it's so important at Pank. The first he'd missed in 48 attempts. Completely out of the blue. Thank you. One. Yeah, it's so important, isn't it, that Pang capitalises on that rare miss. If he could play a cannon to the red above and to the left of the black, that would leave him on choice of reds. Not being hurried, though. He doesn't have to play that shot. It just other reds he can play. That's just one suggestion. Chance to go into them. And is he on one to the left corner? Kind Eight. of trusted to look there. Yep, he can just about get it. Only just. He doesn't think so. It looked like he could on camera. He's looking at the safety. Pang Junju, eight. Very disappointing for Pang to only make eight. From that surprise error from Kyron Wilson. There was no real control on the split, was it? He just went into them and hoped if it had played the little cannon to the red, he was guaranteed to be on at least one red to the right corner and two to the middle. <coughs> well, he's inviting Pang to play this red to the middle, but it's full of danger. He would have to get it if he took it on. Karen pushing a red safe for some insurance. Very, very close. Played the safety. Had the red gone in, he would have rolled up behind the yellow. Couldn't have got any closer without going in. Caught it too thin, he needs some help. Oh, and he got some raise of the hand because that cue ball was coming back down the table. Doesn't want to kiss the pink here. There's a huge golf in experience at the sharp end of a big tournament like this, of course. Kyron Wilson appearing in his 28th ranking semi final for Pang. It's just his third. He made the WST Classic final last year, losing to Mark Selby.
kiss on the pink could have been worse. He's covered the easy red to the left corner, the straight red. Similar type of shot to what he played before. Just getting the cue ball out of trouble. But that's a pretty good safety. Can't see that red down by the yellow. And although it's a sizeable lead, the table is pretty inviting for a counter if Pang were to get in next. Very nearly. But he's got second prize, he's covered the easy red over the corner. And another bit of good fortune, you've got to say. Red to the middle, very, very difficult. That's a great pot. He was leaving. Had he missed that? And what a great chance. Nothing really safe. One red. Close to the right side cushion, but certainly potable. This could be as hard a shot, Philip. And confidently played. Nicely on choice of reds. The composure he showed at the end of the match with Robertson was so impressive. Robertson got in when he led 4-3 with 40. He was a bit unlucky not to land on one. Played safe and didn't pot another ball for the rest of the match. Yeah, Pang's got to get used to this one table setup, though. This is like a, a different tournament now, all of a sudden. Down to one table, new cloth. Very reactive now, this cloth. Beautiful well. venue. Players love playing here. Thirteen. There's no doubt it's an extra special atmosphere when it does come down to the single table and watching all the way around heightens the pressure but also the special nature of the occasion. Yeah, some people embrace it. Other players are a little scared of it to start with. Twenty. There's no noise from the other table. No clapping. Just silence. 21. The only difficult red is the one near the right side cushion. He's going to need it. That one particularly well. 28. We've come up the path of the pink spot there to give himself choice of reds. I mean, he should still pot it. Twenty-nine. One thing he identified himself after the win over Robertson was that at times his cue ball was a little loose and need to tighten up a little. He was very good at retrieving the situation, of course. That's why he was able to win in that decider with a century clearance. Well, these are the frames that he's got to win to have any chance in this final. 34. When he gets the chance, he's got to punish. 
And it was an easy shot that Kyra missed. He knows he should be sitting 2-0 now, Karen Wilson. And this is what I was talking about earlier, Philip, that, you know, when the lower-ranked players playing around the black spot, they leave it straight a lot of the time. Uh, this isn't straight, but it's close to it. Ideal on the red just to drop it in and be on the black. It doesn't need to stun it. Just drop it in. Give the red every chance. Forty-three. Well played because we've seen a lot of shots like that miss this week. These pockets are not on the generous side here in Belfast, but that was right in the middle. <coughs> Can get to the blue, it's happy days. Fifty. Wouldn't need the pink. Fifty-one. Oh, I didn't have any sign on the cue ball, but he might still be able to hold for the yellow rather than coming in and out of balk. So he needs the green to have snatched a frame out of the grasp of Kyron Wilson. 58. And he'll feel a lot better if this green goes in and he wins this frame in one visit. He's part of this semi final. 61. So completely unruffled. It had been a slightly indifferent opening. A couple of errors in the first frame. And one early in this one when he was escaping from the snooker and left Kyron Wilson the red, which seemed likely to cost him again. Wilson out of the blue, missing that pretty routine red to the left corner. And it's cost him dear in this second frame. Seventy. Seventy six. What an excellent response from Pang Junju. Brilliant stuff. What a start semi-final here at the North Open. An 83 clearance from Pang. After Wilson missed a straightforward red, it's one each.
Okay, Pang. Thank you, the third frame. Pang Junju to break. Pang Junju has already proved here in Belfast that he's no respecter of reputation. He's taken down the former world champion, Luca Brussel. Another former champion of the world in Neil Robertson. And he's just conjured a superbly cool 83 clearance to deny Kyron Wilson, the reigning Crucible King, a 2-0 lead when Wilson was in looking good and out of the blue missed straightforward red. Ultimately, Pang made him pay. So one all, battle joined, first to six to go through to the final and a meeting with either Trump or Slesser. Very attacking shot. And a very good cue ball. Coming off the reds thick. Open them up. He has covered the black up. But the important thing is he's opened them up and he's got it safe. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, he's just looking to see if he left the cue ball in the jaws of the left-hand corner pocket. What would he leave? Wow. Diamond Wilson for. How often does that happen? And he's left Kynan with a chance, both corners. Nothing wrong with this shot except the pace. Why so hard? Ahead of his match with Williams, Kyron Wilson spent 90 minutes on the practice table working with his brother Taylor, principally on his long potting, which has always been a big strength of his, and it certainly paid off. He was knocking them in from all parts in beating Williams for the seventh time in seven attempts. He'll have been more than a little frustrated, though, to have let Pang off the hook in that second frame when he was going well for 2-0. And he slot this one in. A resounding whack on the back of the leather. Cue ball stopped nicely on the yellow. <coughs> Black and pink. Three. Unavailable at the moment. If he wanted to, he could drive the cue ball into the pink, try and free it. Be on reds. But there's plenty of reds to play for if he doesn't want to play that shot. Nine.
Thank you. Well, that's turned out Ten. nice. He's just Whoever's flicked that red and developed off, the black. Can you please put it on silent? Thank you. So, all of a sudden, this game has changed. That one little shot has turned this into a frame winning chance. Uh, he's lost the cue ball there. Still on a couple of 15. reds, but I'm fairly sure he played for the red next to the black there. Very nearly missed the blue. This is certainly missable. But he's bulleted in. 60. Yeah, great recovery, wasn't it? Wilson's always in the 18. conversation, Sean Murphy, Hawkins among the others, but I don't think anyone plays it with such confidence. He just looks so at home when he's using it, as though he fully expects to pop them every time with that implement. Well, he did 19. say at the beginning of this match today that practices with the rest. I don't see many people doing that. So I've still got a couple of reds you could play for. The one next to the black would be ideal. And he's played onto that red beautifully. Twenty-two. Well, the wrong side of the blue to go into the reds, but he could do it from the yellow. Or he could play for the last loose red. Well, he's missed the reds, fortunately. Aaron Wilson, twenty-two. Intended to go into the reds there. And that's the second easy ball he's missed. Well, oh, looking at that, I think this red goes into the left corner. And if it does, I'm surprised Karen Wilson didn't play for it. It's very tight. He clearly wasn't sure about it, was he? He took quite a while before deciding to commit to the shot, but very clearly caught the pink first here. Yeah, but he still potted the red, didn't he? Which means that the red would go. He just got it wrong. Well, 
he's got a good pace on the red. Trying to get him behind the yellow. This is very close. This is very close. Terrific safety shot. Appreciated by this crowd and by Kyron Wilson with a tap on the table. He could not have hit that any more sweetly, could he? Yeah. And the reds are open. Not sure if he can land up to the red next to the black. A wonderful shot, wonderful escape. Great snooker from both players. Particularly to get that shot right at the first attempt, sometimes it takes two or three. And of course, if you overcompensate, if you miss the thin snick on the red off two cushions, you can then do all sorts of damage. But Wilson hit it nicely. He's lost the red, and he's got a good white. The red coming back up the table wasn't part of the plan. I just wonder if he could play the double here on that red near the pink. Take the cue ball back down to the ball cushion. I'm not sure if that shot's on, but if he can avoid the corner pocket with the cue ball. And it's worth playing. And played it. Oh, got very close to it. And that's where he intended to get the cue ball back to. And that's a good shot he's played there. A very good attacking shot. Could have won the frame had that red gone in. And there was no guarantee of leaving the red if he missed it. Good odds. It could be worth playing the double himself here. game well worth the effort 
Here's a yellow. Would have got him back to the reds. it too thin I was trying to get in behind the yellow there funnily enough but just caught it a lot too thin so another half chance for Karen Wilson he's already nailed one into this pocket from distance hundred percent Part success. Long part success. And that's just fallen as bad as it could for Karen Wilson. The cue ball's not on the cushion. It makes the blue relatively easy from there. It's very tough. Was always a tough shot. Karen Didn't Wilson really won. commit to the position because it was such a tough pot. <coughs> but it is a chance for Pang here. this very mindful of the blue under his body <coughs> having to stretch a bit as well yeah and it's a completely <coughs> different shot with the rest so I would like to be able to reach this red he himself very good rest player but this is a tough one that's true he knocked in some crackers against Neil Robertson under pressure table and it's gonna offer Karen Wilson a chance yeah it's a long one a long way off with that one and that's why the red traveled so far didn't even hit the jaw so Wilson back at the table with a 33 point lead What he played for. If he has to take the pink, it's difficult to get to the next red from it. at that speed that's a great effort and he's on one he doesn't Eight. take a backward step does he and that Tim to wrap up this third frame Pang went for that difficult shot with the rest this Fifteen. 
16. Could have played for the black again there, but it was going to be too precise to finish nicely on it. The pink easier to get to the reds from. So just this red needed to leave Pang needing snookers. 22. Made sure of the red. And now probably make things difficult for Pang. Unless you can see enough of the blue. Twenty-eight. Started the match with a real statement of intent, that 110 clearance. And this one, surprisingly, which let Pang in for an equally impressive 83, but Wilson has largely controlled this frame. Yes, he missed a couple, including the yellow. But he punished Pang's error with the rest. It was a very difficult shot. 36. And it's proved to be his last of this third frame. So the heavy pre-match favorite in front once again but it's already a fascinating semi-final 43 44 Wilson playing surely the snooker of his life he's wearing the crown of world champion very lightly <laughs> Fifty-five. Oh, one out. <laughs> Too Terrific. quick, even for the cameraman. Terrific. Just what the crowd like to see. And it's still going on. Into his inner trunk. It's on a stringy spot. <laughs> so relaxed, so confident. The exhibition stuff from Kyron. The warrior is in the mood. He's back in front. He leads back. 2-1. Now, of course, this evening from 6.45, we'll have the build-up, followed by the second semi-final. Judd Trump is playing Elliot Slesser. Let's hear from the man they call the ace in the pack.
So we're gearing up for semi-final number two this evening. Rachel, Jimmy and Alan will have all the build-up from 6.45 local time. Eurosport 1 and Discovery Plus, of course, and then they'll be underway. Judd Trump against Elliot Slesser, who is not afraid of reputation any more than Pang Jungju is. He's got a couple of wins against Ronnie O'Sullivan under his belt. He tends to raise his game against the best, so do not assume that that will be straightforward for Trump. It's going to be interesting. 6.45 this evening. <laughs> Snooker of the highest class to kick off the First semi-final here at the Bet Victor Northern Ireland Open. Karen Wilson starting in style with a century. Pang hitting back after Wilson surprisingly missed a red with an 83 to feel part of this semi-final very early in the piece. But Wilson has responded with a 77 break, including a quartet of wonderful pots to entertain the crowd at the end. One more to come before the okay, interval. Karen. Six, of course, is the Thank target you, the for a place in the final. Karen Wilson to break. The reigning world champion looking to forge a 3-1 interval lead, breaking off in the fourth frame. Yeah, managed to cover that red again. To the right corner, very similar to his first frame break off. left a long red on to the right corner just having a look to see which one is left he's left one of them I'm playing the safety but I thought that was a chance Looking good, though. Not quite a snooker, but a good safety. Another ball harder. Excellent shot from Karen Wilson. An attacking shot, played the pot, but also played the cue ball. These are really exciting times for Chinese snooker. We've seen the emergence of some tremendous talents. Of course, Xi Jai Wei made a big splash at the World Championship a couple of seasons ago, very nearly making the final. And has since been in two ranking finals, including this season. He Guo Zhang. Long Zhuang, Ma Hai Long, among others. And Pang Zhengzhu proving that he's here to stay as well, looking for his second final appearance and his third victory over a world champion this week. He knew that was in from the moment he struck it. Brilliant end from Wilson. From that practice has been paying off. 
Yeah, and the difference between them both at the moment is that he's willing to take the risk because he's confident in his ability that if it does go in, he can win the frame. It's a tough table still, with the pink and black in difficult <coughs> positions. But he's given himself a chance. Six. Yeah, he didn't quite come far enough for the red that he played on. Alan Wilson, six. Had to take the more difficult one. A rare miss from Karen Wilson. Key to Pang's success against Robertson yesterday was his ability to stay with him. Robertson three times got in front, but couldn't shake him off. Well, one thing you've got to do when you miss is get away with it. And Karen Wilson got away with it now. Trying to get the cue ball over the right side of the table, which makes the safety a lot more difficult. <clears throat> and something to think about now for Pang. No easy safety shot. Back to Bork. And that's simply because Karen's cut off the left side of the table. Super shot. Absolutely brilliant pot, but he couldn't get that cue ball out of that area. Yellow ball. One of, one of the best pots you'll see that under pressure. Could easily have lost the frame at that. Pang Junju one. Not gone in. And he was trying to get the cue ball in behind the brown there, so I assume that the cue ball would have pulled to the left slightly. And the yellow's come to save the day. Yeah, he wasn't too bothered about the pot there. As long as he caught the near angle, the, cue, the red goes back safe. <laughs> I 
just got to be careful here. Bang not to leave that red on that's closest to the right corner. Very fortunate to have covered that red. Okay, it's still potable. More difficult now. Doesn't normally make a mess of his safety shots. Nice shot. One. Powered that brown into the pocket. I don't think this is a ready played for. Couldn't have judged getting through all those balls like that to be on this red. And again, very difficult to get to a colour from that red. And the cue ball being on the cushion, it could possibly have got to the black. Six. Looking good. Eleven. A fraction harder. And he'd been able to hold for the black. Surprising miss. Karen Wilson, eleven. A possible plant. We've seen quite a few plants go astray this week. And that one wasn't that close in the end. So I let off the pang after the safety error. One. Well, that was a poor effort, really, to get round for the blue. And he's fortunate that he's right behind it to the corner. Completely mishit that one. Good recovery though. Seven. The problem here is, yeah, the blue's a tough pot, but the next red is difficult to get to. So it might be as wise just to play the safety. Try and get the cue ball in behind the yellow, possibly. 
At the same time, bringing the pink into play. Ang Junju, seven. A little shorter pace. But the pink now free. first turned professional in 2020 because of his good results on the China Tour. The year before, as an amateur, he beat Stuart Carrington in qualifying for the World Championship. And he has been home nation semi-finalist before last year he got to the last four of the welsh open losing to eventual runner-up sean murphy and wilson slot this one in he is deadly from distance terrific pop though nevertheless and the cue well just about held up for the yellow which gives them a chance of winning the frame at this visit Ten. He loves to power those balls in, doesn't he? But he gets ideal position from them. On its spot, and all these reds go. Sixteen. Seventeen. Choice of pink or black. Taking the black, that releases the two 24. reds just above the cue ball into the right corner. Look to impose himself on the semi final. Karen Wilson used that wealth of experience he has. In contrast to his opponent, he's played an aggressive game. He's gone for his shots. The long pots have been going in. Yeah, he's missed one or two, but he's looked to take it to Pang. And at the moment, it's looking likely to earn him a 3 1 lead. He 
needs another red after this one. 33. And he should take a 3-1 lead to the interval. So a chance to make another big break here to go with his 110 and 77. Aaron Wilson, forty six. Forty six should be more than enough for Karen Wilson. Pang's doing the maths, he's going to come back. Fifty five behind, forty three left. Decided. No, actually, 